Hello, everybody. I'm gonna wait a very short time for people to come on. Um, I came on about 5.59, so I'm just gonna wait about a minute before we start. Hello everybody. Okay, it's six o'clock. I like to start on time. I'm very punctual if I can be. All right, my name is Lisa Thibodeau. Welcome to Tib Talk. This is the second one in a series that I usually do on Tuesday nights at six o'clock. The first one was about guilt and I hope you caught it. If not, you can always search Tib Talk and find it. Tonight, we're gonna to be talking about positivity. But before we start, I wanna tell you a few things that you need to know. First of all, I would like for you to share this video. Feel free to share it. And if you do, you will be entered, I don't know what I did with my, uh, got too much here, here we go. You're gonna be entered into a drawing for um, a $10 iTunes card. And congratulations to Terry, Rap Foray, who won the $10 Starbucks card. Now, when you share it, I'm asking you to please tag me in the comments. Um, I thought it would be really easy to see everybody that shared, but we had over, I had a lot of shares, so I had to keep going back and going back. So if you tag me in it, you'll make sure that you get into the drawing. All right, if you are watching live, there's a red box up here, and it says live. If not, please, comment hashtag replay so I'll know that you watched it. Also, feel free to comment, ask questions, give your own insights. However, I'm gonna look at it after the video. I won't be looking at the uh, comments because it'll distract me, I know how I am. Um, plus, I wanna keep this um, you know, under 15 minutes. Okay, so let's start. Positivity. The definition of positivity, I'm an English teacher, I always like to start with the definition, is the tendency to be optimistic in situations, in your attitude and just the way you react to things. If you are a positive person and you look at things in a positive manner most of the time, you're gonna be happier. So many times that's what we want in our lives happiness. You are searching and wanting happiness. The more positive that you are, it correlates directly with how happy you are. If you think about someone who's negative, think about someone who's always complaining, who always sees the, the bad side of things, they're not happy. Whenever I see someone like that, I just say, you know, let's pray for them because obviously they're miserable. So it's important to be positive. Now, am I saying that, you know, you can never say anything negative or every day is, you know, sunshine, roses and rainbows and I'm always happy? No, okay, that's not reality either. It's what is your tendency and what is your majority of the time way that you start to think? So when we talk about positivity, one of the things I always tell my students was in our lives, we have balcony people and basement people. It's very important for you to figure out who are your balcony people and who are your basement people. A balcony person is someone who is standing up on the balcony and they are lifting you up. They are pulling you up. They're saying, come on, they're encouraging you. They are making your life a better place. They are making the world a better place. Those are balcony people. Correspondingly, a, ba a basement person is the person that's dragging you down, that is saying, you can't do that. That's always saying negative things to you. 
a basement person, they're not concerned with making the world a better place. They are concerned with making their world a better place instead of everybody else's world. So you have to look in your life and you have to reflect on that. And you need to think, my balcony people are the ones I want to have around me. Basement people are toxic. Basic pe basement people are going to make you miserable. Can you get rid of them out of your life? If sometimes you can't because sometimes it's someone who, you know, might be a family member. Then you need to see how am I going to deal with that basement person? How am I going to deal with that negative person? Distance myself. Um, you know, have a response or a, a mantra you say in your, your head when they're telling you you're not good enough that you say every time I am good enough. Um, you have to be able to replace any negative thoughts whether they are, or sayings, whether they are from someone else or from yourself. Sometimes it's self-doubt. It's we're talking to ourselves and we're saying, I can't do that. I'm not good at that. Um, I could never do that. I, I can't do this. Oh, no, no way. Oh, I'm so fat. Oh, I'm so lazy. Oh, I'm so this, whatever. I'm so that. Stop it. <laughs> okay? You, that's not doing any good. We talked about last week when guilt doesn't do you any good. Negative thinking never does you any good. There's no such thing as appropriate or healthy um, negativity. Okay? Um, another thing that you can do to help your life to be more positive is to stop worrying about what other people think of you. Now, I know that that's easier said than done because really from when we're young, we kind of, especially girls, I feel like they're always trying to uh, seek approval from others. But in reality, one of the things I learned when I, as I got older, and that's what all of these life lessons are about, things that I realized when I was 50 and I said, why didn't I recognize them before? before? When... When you are worried about what other people think, it drains your energy. And really it's not important, it's what you think. Also last week when we talked about guilt, I asked you to kind of reflect on things. Well, that's what I'm gonna ask you for positivity. Think about how do you respond if your alarm clock doesn't go off or uh, your husband forgets to set it if he's the one that sets it. Um, you come outside and your car won't start. Um, your child is getting ready and they're taking forever and it's making you late for work. Um, how do you respond when you miss a bus, when you miss an appointment, when um, you're just having a bad day? What things that really are small in relativity, can that ruin your whole day? Does that change every single thing that you that that you react to for the rest of the time? You need to think about that. And try Obviously, your car doesn't start. You're not going to go, "Yay, my car doesn't start." Woohoo. I gotta be positive about this. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying either. But try to find some positive in every situation. Try to remember that you don't know everything. You don't necessarily know the realm of life, the meaning of life. You don't know what the true reason is for something bad happening to you. Let me show you something. I know most of you probably know about 9-11. Let me tell you about some of the people that survived 9-11 and why. One, one, one woman was late because guess what? Her alarm clock didn't go off on time. Another was late because they were stuck in traffic on the turnpike because of an auto accident. One missed his bus. One spilled clothes on her, spilled food on her clothes and had to take the time to change, so she was late. One's car wouldn't start. 
One had a child that dawdled and didn't get ready as soon as she should have, and she was hollering at her, but she was late. One couldn't get a taxi. One guy was a man who put on a new pair of shoes that morning, and he developed a blister on his foot, so he stopped to buy a Band-Aid. That saved his life. That's why these people are alive today, because of things that seem to be a problem, a bother, something you might get so aggravated with and ruin your whole day. So when trivial things annoy you, maybe think that you're supposed to be late. You're supposed to stop for a minute. You're supposed to live in that moment. Because things happen all the time, right? That's what we say, life happens, things happen. How you react to them, though, is going to make a huge difference. Not only in how you feel and how your life is, but how your family and how your friends and how everybody around you feels. It's important to appreciate what you do have. So when the car doesn't start, what are you going to say? Well, I'm glad I have a car. Uh, I'm glad I know somebody who can come fix it. Um, well, I'm going to call in sick today and have fun. <laughs> Whatever. There's something that you can find that will at least make it in a better light. And as I'm saying, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying to be a Pollyanna, if those of you that read that book and know or see, seen the movie, that's someone who's like always, oh, everything's so wonderful. No, it's not that, but I want you to be happy. And to be happy, you have to appreciate everything that you have. You have to count your blessings and not your problems. And you have to realize that if you don't start reflecting and thinking about how you talk to yourself, how you talk to others, how you react in your life, are you a positive person? And you know, I know some people, they, oh, I'm a very positive person. But then they say something negative and they go, oh, just joking, LOL. That's my favorite, LOL. Like if you put LOL, laugh out loud, it negates everything. No, sorry, it doesn't. <laughs> You know, so it's important that if you are a person who does that, again, reflect. What are you doing? If you feel like you don't have a lot of good friends, maybe are you negative or are you positive? People attract themselves to people who are more positive because you have that happiness factor. When you're more positive, you're happier. That's what I want for all of you, to be happy. All right. Try to keep my time, uh, like I said, under 50 minutes. Thank you so much for your time. I truly appreciate it. I hope that you will share this video again and get your um, name in for the drawing for the $10 iTunes card. Make sure you tag me in the share when you, um, when you do it. And stay tuned next Tuesday for the next Tib Talk. And if you have any questions, insights, comments, please put them down there and I will answer them. Also, if you have suggestions for more TED talk, talk, TED talk topics on Tuesday, got a little alliteration there, um, please make sure that you, um, you jot them down in the comments as well. Thank you so much, and y'all have a positive night.